So I put the belt back on, as you can see. And my ratchet's still hanging over there. Put the belt back on as I forgot to pull the fan off of the hub there. So put the belt back on to hold that pulley so that I can uh, rattle that fan out of there. That'll be the next project. And that's the tool I plan to use. I know it's not the right one, but uh, I've done it lots of times on my six liters. And it works rather well, so I'm going to hit the side of that the side of that nut right there, just right on the edge of it, and just drive it off of there. A couple little rattles and it should pop right off. To get the hose kicked up here. Let's see if I can actually video this. So I'm going to see if I can video this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see anything because this gun's going to be in the way. But I can see it with myself. Okay. Wait. I think I don't have enough air pressure yet. Got my compressor running. Yeah. Focus. Come on, Bessie. Well, as you can see, a little nick there from the from the uh, air chisel, and the nut goes to spinning. Except this fan's a little too loosey goosey spinning, but it does. I'm gonna pull that off of there. As you get to the end of the threads, watch it to make sure your fan doesn't go right through the radiator. And before I get to the end of the threads, also gonna unplug those wires. So unplug the wires, pull that little bracket out of the way that's holding the wires there, a little security bracket for the wires. And that way when the fan's loose it can just set down into the shroud. And it'll hang out till we get the shroud loose and pull it all out together as a unit. So that'll be next up. Uh, TCM still in the way, gotta move that. It's actually what I just started on yesterday and then I got distracted. This is a after work multi-day project. Probably be at this for a week getting it apart just because I only got a few hours after work. So this is the TCM plug. Um, you have to release this red tab by pulling it up. And then this one here flips down, or is flipped down, and you flip it up like that and it just pushes it out of out of the TCM. And then the TCM is held on by this plastic clip and that plastic clip. So I got that out of the way and in a safe spot. So now the radiator shroud cover, the fan shroud cover is held on, oh, this is sort of the radiator cover, which is the fan shroud I think is separate from that, it's bolted to the engine, but anyway this here is held on with all these plastic clips everywhere, all the way going down, can't see that one because it's too dark, right there, there's two of them there, and then here and here, I already pulled that one out, same with the other side, and then uh, top of the radiator cover should come off and we should be able to see fan shroud to see what it takes to get that out of there up next so shroud comes off the top of the or the cover comes off the top of the radiator then fan pulled off all the way and then just slides out the top yeah. and I'm sticking the bolts back in the hole so I don't drop them someplace else and lose them going along there now working on down there, you can see that one there is the clamp for the uh, hot side air to air. So we'll pull that out of there and that air to air pipe goes right up there to this turbo is behind there. And of course the light's shining in our eyes to the turbo. So get that out of the way. We'll make a little more room and then we'll see what else we got to do with this wiring because we got bunch of wires coming up here off the engine that don't terminate here that go into this box here so it's the next thing to figure out how many wires you gotta pull out of the bottom of that box there need a fuse panel so somebody's gone and put an add fuse in right there not sure exactly what for and then I've got two wires coming up here somebody's brave borrowing some power for something else not sure again what all that goes to, but I guess we'll unplug the adifuse and unhook those two. The wires are all corroded, so they'll need to be 
put new ends on and lubed up once we figure out what to do. Then we've got the hot side pipe out of there. See the turbo right over there. Came down and it just pulled up through that loop right there. Goes down there to the bottom of the air to air. Um, yeah. Looks like you just flip these handles up, pull this thing out. Thing, the whole fuse panel is going to pop out of there. You just have to undo the wires there and that add a fuse and then that whole thing is going to stay with the uh, with the engine or with the frame and, uh, and the base part of that's going to go with the body looks like and then we got some power steering hoses right here ton hook going up over there to the brake controller brake booster so that'll be, I guess, hydraulics for the hydraulic brake booster. Probably gonna just take this whole power steering pump off, looks like. And then that way, I don't know. I think all that could stay in one piece except for the hose going down to the gearbox. So down on the bottom here, one of the steering box, um, pull that hose off. And then the rest of this here will just stay with the frame. And then we'll see what we got to do with the brakes. Somewhere we got to crack a line for the brakes or pull the master cylinder off. On the Ford, you could just leave the master cylinder with the frame and then you didn't have to bleed your brakes. So hopefully you can do something like that as well. See how it goes. So got the two wires off of there. Pulled the outta fuse laying right there. That wire there comes over here and ties into the harness right over there so pulling that wire off of here you pull a little red tab back and then you can push this little clip and pull it out of there so that's out all these wires are going to stay with the engine and then uh, yeah I think before I can do that I got to pull the power steering pump Next. so power steering pump I'm pulling off with the air conditioner bracket there are two nuts right there. There are two nuts that were right there. That's one bolt that holds it on. And then down there, kind of hidden below this pulley, is the fourth bolt. And that loosens the whole, loosens up the entire bracket here. So it's ready to come out of there. So then you can just slide this thing forward. So now we've got a wire to pull off over here and uh, see which of these hoses we actually have to take off and which ones can stay down below there. Oh, the jiggle jiggle and the wiggle wiggle on the breaker panel here didn't quite work so when you fold these things over all the way they go from locked down here to oops now I locked them again to a second lock over there so you gotta have Kind of sticking straight up like that in order to get them out of there so you can't get that thing out start folding the handles back down as you pull up and it'll uh come right out of there so it's now sitting there loose and uh ready to come out of there so we're ready for the next part um gonna have to feed these wires through and i am gonna have to pull my uh, power steering lines and stuff off and i'll just plug those up uh, because the wires are crisscrossed around each other and so I'm gonna feed these through there but I can't just lay it on this side because there's wires making a loop all the way around it so definitely have to pull at least two of those lines off to kind of get that crisscross out of there not very well done but anyway that's how it's got to be panel out of the way and then I can see that this wire here only goes up to this one plug-in so you don't need this whole thing just need it out of the way and then this here is a couple of tabs on the side here and once you press those you can pull that thing out and then that is going with the engine we'll see what else this has to be unplugged but looks like some more wires coming off that same harness down here I'm gonna have to stick around yeah great big plug right there can't get you in the focus so I have to undo this plug and then it looks like this one here for whatever that goes to. 
And then we'll try pulling those wires up. See how she do.